हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर 14 हेबलर डायनामिक्स द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द 30 पाउंड बॉक्स ए इज रिलीज फ्रॉम रेस्ट सो द एट ए द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज जीरो सो लेट मी राइट दैट द इनिशियल वेलोसिटी ऑफ ब्लॉक ए इज जीरो and it slides down along the smooth rail and on to the surface of a cart if the cart is prevented from moving determine the distance s from the end of the cart to where the box stops so we have to find this s uh, from the final location of the blocks until this end and it is said that the coefficient of kinetic friction between the cart and the box is 0.6 so there is no friction between the box and the inclined surface since it is said that the surface uh, is smooth ramp right so the inclined surface is smooth and there is a kinetic friction between the block surface and the cart so to solve this problem we can use the work energy principle so from work energy principle we can say that the kinetic energy at point a plus the summation of all the work done due to the external forces from a to b will be equal to the kinetic energy at point c we want to find the location of this block where it stops right so let's say that from here to here let's say this is s dash so now the kinetic energy at a will be uh, since the uh, initial velocity is zero so the kinetic energy at a is zero and as we can see that uh, this block is moving in this direction so the weight is acting in this direction this is the weight of the block and the normal force is acting in this direction so now if we consider the uh, the block so it is moving in this direction that is along the ramp so the normal force is always perpendicular to the displacement travel so the normal force is not going to do any work so the weight is going to do work right and there is no friction force here and once the block reaches here then again it is moving in this direction and the normal force is acting in the upward direction and the weight is acting in the downward direction but now once it reaches on the cart surface there is a friction force and that friction force is going to act in this direction that is in the opposite direction and this is the friction force and this is always equal to mu k times n so here if we find if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis when it is on the cart so the summation of forces along the y axis is equal to this is the normal and this is the weight so that will be equal to m a y and since the the box is moving in the horizontal direction so there is no acceleration in the y direction so this will be equal to 0 the acceleration in the y direction is 0 so we can write that n minus w this will be equal to 0 or we can say that n is equal to w so now if we apply uh, this work energy principle so the kinetic energy at point a is zero and the there is the work done due to the weight plus the work done due to the friction force and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point c and since at point c it will come to rest so the velocity at point c is also equal to zero so the kinetic energy at point c is also zero so we are left with this now the work done due to the weight is always equal to weight times delta y as we can see that the block is moving downward from a to b and the weight is acting in the downward direction so this means that the distance travel is also in the downward direction and the weight is also acting in the downward direction so this is the positive work done due to the weight and once it re it reaches here the block moves towards the left and the friction force acts towards the right so the work done due to the friction force is the negative work so i will write minus and that work done due to the friction force will be mu k times n so mu k is 0.6 and n is w and the friction force is applied for the distance of s dash right so we will multiply it with s dash and that is equal to 0 so now if i divide this whole equation by w so this will cancel out and we will be left with delta y minus 0.6 as dash and this is equal to 0 and delta y is 4 feet the change in the vertical position of the block from a to c is 4 feet so i will write this as 
minus 0 0.6 s dash and this is equal to 0 or we can write that minus 0 0.6 s dash is equal to minus 4 minus will cancel out and s dash is equal to 4 divided by 0 0.6. So, 4 divided by 0 0.6 gives us 6.67 feet. So this is 6.67 feet. And since in the problem statement we were asked to find this s, so this s will be equal to 10 minus s dash. So, s is equal to 10 minus s dash and we can write that this is 10 minus 6.67 that is 10 minus that answer. So, this is equal to 3.33, this is 3.33 feet that is that s where the block stops and this is the position of the block from this end of the cart. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it yet. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics chapter 14.